Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, the golden child, Tom Brady, 27 years old and two Super Bowl rings already. Not too shabby. We'll see him on the road to what he hopes will be ring number three in this one. Denver Broncos, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's go time. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi folks, Dan Stevens here, welcoming you to Tampa Bay Stadium. And my sidekick, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have, uh, well, some very talented players holding down the safety positions. Wouldn't you agree? No question about it, Dan. Safeties are often literally the last line of defense. And these are reliable as they come. Simmons, he's the cream of the crop when it comes to free safeties. What I love about this guy is his agility. He can stay with a receiver to knock down a pass or make an open field tackle. Warming up across the field is another tremendous football player. Number 54 is among the very best players in the league today. He possesses a great blend of skills and abilities, and that well-roundedness is what makes him such an effective player. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. It's tails. Number eight, kicking off for the Broncos. There's the signal, and we're it's ready. Time for Buccaneer football. Number eight kicks it, and we are underway. <laughs> Miller fields it all the way back at the 1. Stop at the 22. Miller got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Buccaneers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Vaughn will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. As we can see here, we've got the injuries that have accrued over the season, and let me tell you, each one of these guys was hard to lose. Injuries are a fact of life in the Second NFL. Nine. You have to push on and the field the best team possible. Yard. Brady puts just about everything he's got into this one, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Holding. Number 78, offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat Number second 78 down. 78 gets the flag here. Let's check it out right now and see what happened. Yep, that's offensive holding. The refs were very right to throw that flag. You better run second down, second three wideouts in the game. Ball at the Buccaneers, 13-yard line. Down. Barely past the markers for the first. Evans has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about staking your turf. Great job fighting for that first down. He didn't waste any time. Well, just because the pass is short of the markers, it doesn't mean he can't run it the rest of the way. He's a true competitor. Number seven takes it across the line and rambles for about five. Second and five. Ball at the Buccaneers, 37 yard line. Number 25 gets the handoff and heads out right. Number 25. Tackled at the, the 39. Carrier. Number two with the tackle. Third down with the tight end right. Ball at the Buccaneers, 39 yard line. Brady throws this on a rope, and it's complete at the 44. Finally dropped at the 44. That will bring up first down. Number 84 is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. Go, set, 
intercepts. Darrell's off his left guard and rambles for about five. Second and four. Ball at the 39. Go, Bendy One! Get out! Brady throws a bullet here, and it's off. Incomplete. incomplete. With the deflection. Third down with a split backfield. Ball at the 39. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number eight Number gets eight ready to punt, punt this away. Number one to make the return. Number eight gets the snap and punts it away. The Broncos offense Denver. takes the field and they will start at their own 20-yard line. Williams gets the call on first down and takes it upfield. William brought down carrier. at the 25. Number 31. Yes. The Second down, Second five, five yards to go. Ball at the Broncos, 25-yard line. Down. Number three passes this one after the play action, and the reception is made for first and more. First down, down. down at the 36. It will be first down. Number 87 added some flash to that play with a nice little move after the catch. Good work to get more yards. A nice run after making the grab, and that's a big plus coming from your tight end. Especially for him. He's not known for making those big gallops like that. First and 10. Ball at the 36-yard line. Williams is at the 25, 5, touchdown, and Bronco. touchdown! Williams does not like the D very much. Check out what he does. Stiff arms do not make good friends, Dan. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have him. So far, he's got 41 yards and one touchdown. Number eight to attempt the extra point. Number 55, holding. Here's the extra point, the and extra point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number eight booms a beauty here. Miller downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, the Buccaneers had their last drive wrong. stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which is at their own 20 yards. Vaughn gets the ball and moves forward for seven. Vaughn is built like a perfect back should be. 5'10", 214. This running back comes with all the fixings. He can deke out defenders, spin out tackles, and even run some over. Here comes the run! Second and Here three. The ball off the Buccaneers, 27 yards. Yeah. Number 47 Pass tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 47, Number 47 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down third from the on. Ball at the Buccaneers, 27-yard line. Number seven punches this one left of center and converts the third down. They couldn't connect on this Passes one. Incomplete. incomplete. With the deflection. Second and ten. 
Ball at the Buccaneers, 32 yard line. Brady fires this one over the middle and it's complete at the 42. Eventually tackled at the 47. First. Tom Brady completes a nice pass past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan. And there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, one man down. Down! Set! Number seven. Get the carry on first down and picks up eight yards on the play. Number seven. Uses pure strength and guts on this play, Dan. You can't stop something like that that easily. You charge like that, the D is going to be in trouble. How much strength do you need to pull away from a great pursuer Second like that, three. Peter? Plenty. And good leverage, too. That's a great matchup there. Number seven. Choose up nine yards. And that brings up first down. Number seven sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice second down call, and they will move the chains. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Simmons makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Simmons swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. They sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Brady rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Tom Brady zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty-handed. What ball plays? And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. A couple of the best banging heads there. Number 14 makes the catch. Touchdown! Touchdown, Buccaneers! 14 faces double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was still able to make the catch. He's a great receiver. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, keep this thing on me. Okay, okay. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number three, blockage this one deep. Number nine, downs this in the end zone for a touchback. That's what I'm talking about. The Broncos had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Number three, throws a bullet, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 54, never gave his assignment any wiggle room and was able to prevent a completion. You know, it's all about blanket coverage, and that, my friends, is exactly what I saw there. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Number 25 will get the carry on second down and gains about three yards. And that'll do it for quarter number one, and we're all tied. Third down, seven yards to go. Number three throws a big rainbow here, and it's caught at the 46. 30, chase down at the 29. First down. Number 81 shows off his athletic prowess after he makes the catch here. Oh, that move gives him all those extra yards on the ground. You can't coach that. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. Ten. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed. And right here, height was what's in it. Williams gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the 26-yard line. Number three throws a bullet to the flat, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. 
Number three, threw the pass into double coverage, but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, two wideouts on the field. Switch! First down, down hard at the 11. Right, it yeah. will be I'm first down. It all day. Number three. Had no one to throw to, so he just tucked it under and went for it. It's worth another look. If it wasn't for that scramble, he would have been toast. First and 10. Ball at the 11. Picks up one on the play. Williams powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls or wide receivers for that matter. Number 14 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Dean shadowing the slant route they were trying to set up, and as you see, he makes the play to force the incompletion. That's incomplete, and the defense keeps the points off the board. Perfectly played, great call by the defensive coordinator. Third down coming up. Third down, tight end to the left. Complete. 24 is breaking up that play before the receiver even has a shot at it. Well, uh, to quote you, it's all about patrolling your zone effectively and reading the play well. Hey, it's all about recognizing your partner's trademark phrase. Touchy, touchy. The defense denies the, the opportunity for the score good. and instead forces them into a fourth down situation. Pressure cooker of a play and the D played it tight. They take Number the lead. Eight, kicking off for the Broncos. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Number eight kicks this one away. Number one fields the kickoff at the three. Catches a tackle. Neither interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. Look off that kick. The Buccaneers bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Evans catches this one and he picks up nine. Evans had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the cat. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. The catch was made out of bounds. Denver will not be charged a timeout. Second down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Second and ten. Leopard, Leopard, All Leopard, the Buccaneers, 23 yard line. Set! Listen up, Gray 37. Listen up, Gray 37. Hut, hut! Hut! Listen up, Gray 37. Listen up, hut, hut, hut! <laughs> Jackson, Jackson gets the sack, the sack way back at the 18. Jackson sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up escalator. Yeah, a good rule of thumb here is to try to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third and very, very long. Monstrous D, the past few downs for these guys. Brady really puts some arm behind this one, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Number 14, positioned himself on the outside back there, but the ball didn't position itself in his hands. No catch. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number one, gathers it up at the 20. Crosses the field. Back down at 
the 21. Of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Broncos are looking for some separation before half. And will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Williams gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and five. Switch by 15. Switch by 15. Down. Catches at left sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 85 is just crazy good on this play, then. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut first out the entire ten. first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. First down, three wideouts in the game. Breaks a tackle. Tackled at the Number 48. The ball carrier. Number 96 with the tackle. Second and four. Ball at the 48 yard line. Down! Number 10, takes the missile and is at the 35. Eventually pushed out of bounds at the 25. Number 31, eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them, but way past the marker, that one's gonna hurt. And this was a situation, Mr. O'Keefe, <laughs> where we had two guys of just about equal strength coming together. Yeah, but one guy wanted it more. First down with the tight end right. Continues to run. Number 92 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, timeout call. Keep your eyes on the pass. Second and 17. Well, well damn, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. They couldn't connect on this one incomplete. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Down, switch, back 22, switch. Number three, fires this one over the middle, and First he connects at the 18. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. That will be... Oh, come on. Number three, just sits and sits in that pocket. And when he's ready, he reels off a great pass. It's all about patience. Terrific throw there. He's gotten off to a very good start today. His team expects nothing less from him, and neither does he. First and ten. Ball at the twelve yard line. Down! Number fourteen catches the Number bullet 14. out left, Pass and complete. that's good for six. The Broncos will take a timeout. That's their second. Number fourteen had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and four. Ball at the six yard line. Switch! Black 68! Switch! Down! Set! Number three throws this to the Let's end zone go. and it's caught for oh, a yeah. touchdown. Oh yeah. We coming, baby. We coming. Number three makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. He gets the TD and a little congratulations from his teammate. It's well deserved, Dan. Number 55, holding. Now 
Well, the point after, the and point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number eight, booms a beauty here. Miller downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Buccaneers can climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 84 makes the catch out to the left end. Number 84 had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. And Peter, my boy, he... I'm out called. First down, First one ten. man back. Ball at the Buccaneers, 40-yard line. Down! Listen yeah! it up! Go, 44! Listen it up! Go, hut, hut, hut. Brady throws a beauty to the right side, and it's intercepted! Not out of bounds at the 32. I'm coming down, I'm coming, oh, I'm coming. Okay, oh, 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 Number 13 gets the interception, but that really happened because his teammate got in there and tipped it. Oh, it's all about coordinating your defense, man. Playing as a team. Boy, that was like a that. Up play. The Broncos are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. Number 14 pitches it over the middle, and that's good for six. Second and four. Ball at the 26-yard line. Number three, spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Step it up, D! Step it up! Number 14, right, makes a nice ball. catch, and they convert on third down. Down! Single back! Single back. Play coming up. Strong runner in the backfield and a great receiver on the line. Number three spikes the ball and that will stop the clock. Switch! Black 22! Down! Set! Hurry! Hurry! Switch! Black 22! Switch! For the touchdown! Woo! Yeah! Good job, baby! This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. He may not have the carries, but the times he has carried it, good things have happened, like this touchdown. That shows the kind of confidence they put in him. Let him take the ball in big situations. Now the extra, the extra point, point and it's good. <laughs> There's the signal, and we're ready. Number eight rockets this one deep. Miller decides to take it out of the end zone. Hang down at the 24. And that'll do it for the first That's half of this of one. The, the Broncos quarter. in command of this one, 24 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Broncos are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Tom Brady connected with his man on this one. The Bronx, midway through the first, the Broncos with the ball at the 36. Williams is going to bounce this one to the outside. And look at the execution up front. He's in the clear. A 36-yard touchdown for the Broncos. 
the Bucks trying to answer back. Bucks back by seven. Tom Brady would find his target on this one. They tie it up, seven all. The Bronx answer right back. Number three would air it out on this one, and he would find his man. That set up a 27-yard field goal. Bronx ahead, 10 to seven. Number 10 had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 23-yard play that set up a Bronco touchdown. The Broncos move ahead by 10. The Bucks on D, number 13, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Bronx late into the second quarter. Bronx up by 10. Number three got the carry here and he was able to break through. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bucks are down at the half, 24 to seven. Now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Number three has taken over this game. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Broncos will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are dominating this game. Currently, they are up large, three, 24 to Buccaneers. seven. Let's go down to the field. Number three kicks it off to begin the second half. Number nine downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 20-yard line. Five, as is number called on first number down, and will gain carrier. close to six. Number, number 10, administered a block on that last play like an O-liner. That's something you don't see very often. They move the ball, and, and it will be second down. Williams chews up nine yards, and that will bring up first down. First down, Broncos. Boy, they get some good yardage out of this one, Dan, and they do it a number of good ways. Good line blocking, good downfield blocking, and a nifty run to boot. Nice play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, two tight ends in the game. Number 85 snags the dart right sideline, and that's good for six. With the tackle. Number 85 doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging the football. Another little dump off, and this short passing Second game has been firing on all cylinders. They seem to produce yards and wins. And this is a great offensive Number 25 picks up about two, and that brings up third right. down. He's got such okay. a vice-like grip, right. Peter, it's got to be hard to break out of his grasp, even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runners. Absolutely. Down. Number 24 makes the sack just behind the line. That will bring up fourth down. 24. All down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage and a lot of momentum there. They take away any and all room and prevent that play from getting past the line of scrimmage. Fourth down coming up. Martin lines up for the punt. Martin takes the long snap and punts it away. Miller fields the punt at one. the 21. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news in my opinion. If you want to win, make sure you have to respond to that really nice punt. The Buccaneers are fading fast and are in need of a score. Their offense will start this vital drive at their own 22-yard line. The Broncos have it. <laughs> Dan, this right here is a live ball, and fortunately for the defense, they grab it and gain possession. Heads up play. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was play. The Broncos want to capitalize on a fumble and to start this drive at the 13-yard line. Williams goes right up the middle and gains about three yards. You know the plan, you know what to do. Second and seven. Larry, Larry, Larry. Ball at the 10-yard line. Down! Now it's 
Coming way the back at the 15. Barrett got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. That'll be his first Pussy, sack Pussy, of the game. Pussy, wow, Pussy, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. will be credited with the tackle. It'll be fourth down. Number three, tried to make something happen back there, but nothing doing. A bit of a surprise to see him not make a big play out of that. Yeah, everybody knows the plays he makes when he gets loose back there, but the pursuit, he's excellent that time to stop him in his tracks. It's good. Number eight, has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number eight kicks it off. Miller catches it back at the seven. Locked down at the 27. Miller got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Buccaneers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 27-yard line. Number seven carries it for the sixth time and will gain close to six. Second and four. Ball at the Buccaneers. Brady throws a high, long one to the right, and it's tipped is incomplete. incomplete. Yeah. Simmons managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great deep. That's his third batted ball, and he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Evans catches it in the flat, and they convert on third down. Brady has had a number of pass attempts. And we've seen that his guys are out there running their routes and trying to make plays. He would like to. Brady throws this one right sideline. The reception's made at the 36. Finally stopped at the 34. Tom Brady throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. And Peter, we had a couple of giraffes going after that <laughs> one. That time the receiver won out. And tall receivers and DBs are all the rage in the NFL right now. Check Gray 44. Check Gray for hut hut. Jackson makes a play on this and forces the Jackson incompletion. The Jackson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Second down, two receivers to the left. Brady throws the pass, and the reception's made at the eighth. Touchdown! shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about staking your turn. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Here's the point after, and the extra it's point good. Is good. Signal, and we're ready. Number three, booms a beauty here. Number nine, decides to take it out of the end zone. Oops. Tackled at the 25. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Nice drive results there, and I like their efficiency. They've been putting the points on the board without a lot of wasted effort. Great job so far. First and the Broncos' and offense will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. <laughs> Takes this one way out left and gains about three yards. 
Williams has taken it to the offense sure enough, but you have to credit him for that huge run he brought. Second and seven. Ball at the Broncos, 28 yard line. Number three, unports this to the first left sideline, and it's complete for the first down like and a whole lot more. Oh, yeah, baby. Number 96 finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. That's his second tackle so far. First and ten. Ball at the Broncos, 47 yard line. The 46. Number 54 targeted the ball carrier early. And didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 96 gets the sack way back at the 36. Number 96 had the quarterback cornered way back downfield there, and he sacked him for a major loss of yards. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. First down, down the lob, and they get the first on third and long. Number three, plays this one in beautifully. Gotta see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Quarter. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 275 yards and two touchdowns. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Broncos enjoying a lead 27 to 14. deep down to the end zone and it's intercepted. intercepted. Number 27 runs out for a touchback. Number three is trying to throw a cross field pass which is very tough to get right. As you can see here, it ends up being picked he off by the defense. should not thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Buccaneers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 20 yard line. Vaughn will get the handoff and gets well past the markers for a first. Vaughn has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers open up the hole for him. A huge game. Finally, he gets the big run that he's been looking for all game for the first three quarters. He, well, his stats were very quiet, to say the least. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, they were so quiet, you could hear crickets chirping when you looked at him. Number 97 attacks him way back at, at the 39. Number 97, move this offense back a few with a great sack in the backfield. Second, that was a great call. That'll be his first sack of the game. Number 14, tags the missile and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 14, made the catch without any challenge from the defense and he took advantage of it. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. First down from the on. Bulldozes right of center Number and seven. picks up a couple. Carrier. Number 55 with the tackle. Pass, pass. What's the pass? They go to pass. They go to pass. Down. Double tie. Set. Move. 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 Number 14 pulls down the floater. Out left. He's in for the score. 
matched up well with the defense on this one, but is able to stay one step ahead for the completion. It's worth another look here. Oh yeah, the D might want to put more men on him next time. That's his second TD reception, and obviously the passes are coming his way when they get in the red zone. Well, he's taking on the role of scorer today, Dan, and I gotta tell you, he's filling that role nicely. Now the extra point, and the extra point it's is good. good. Number three kicks this one away. Number nine fields this one deep at the one. Breaks three, stopped at the 22. Number nine took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. Williams passes number call on first down and will lose about a yard here. Barrett was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of him. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles in one Number 85 catches it over the middle and... Number 27 turns things around by forcing the ball loose. It gets recovered right here. And they get some good yards out of it. Great turn of events for this defense. Peter, he gets his first forced fumble of the ball all day. And, well, it's really paid off. The Buccaneers. Offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at the 29-yard line. The seven carries it past scrimmage and searches for a hole. Brought down at the 25. Second and five. Ball at the 25. Listen up! Listen up! Craig, take it two! Listen up! Number right side. He's just barely past the markers for the first. Tom Brady played this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is, but he's daring the D to stop him. Number seven punches this one left for center and moves forward for seven. With the tackle. Second down with the tight end right. Ball at the 12-yard line. Down! Number 25 gets the toss, heads up field, tackled at the five. It'll be first and goal. 25 finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. You know, Dan, this might be a nice time to try a little fade to their go-to receiver. And he's in for the touch. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. He may not have the carries, but the times he has carried it, good things have happened. Like this touchdown. That shows the kind of confidence they put in him, letting him take the ball in big situations. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three kicks it off. Number nine fields the kickoff at the two. Right down at the 24. Number nine received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. First and ten. The Broncos ten. have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 24 yard line. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, you can see the injuries that they've racked up this year. When you get hit like this, the training staff has to do their best to get those who are sidelined back in as soon as possible. When injuries are going to happen, there's just no way around it. Second down, one man down. Number three really rifles this pass, and it's intercepted. Breaks three, tackled at the 20. Well, it's all about 
getting in position to make the grab and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Buccaneers will start this drive with unbelievable field position with the clock at 153. Number seven takes his 10th carry of the Broncos. Take their first time out. Second down, Second and eight. eight yards to go. The 18-yard line. Vaughn gets the call on second down, and he's... The Broncos will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down. The clock is stopped at 144. Number seven. The Broncos take a timeout. That's their final one. First down, goal to go. Number seven gets the call again and gets in for the score. Number seven sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. That touchdown will add to their lead late in the game. Well, time is the enemy right now, Dan. We'll see what happens. Now the point after, and the extra it's point good. is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number three kicks it off. Number nine catches it back at the two. The Buccaneers have stopped at the 16. Number 48 didn't panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able and to this game is over. There's no way for the D to stop the clock, and the offense is just going to sit on the ball to win this one. Two yards on the play. No way to convert Fourth this. and 14. Ball at the 20-yard line. And that is going to do it That's for the this one. The Buccaneers come out on top, 35 to 27. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Enjoy this one. We're going to get you next time. We're going to get you next time. It's all right. Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Buccaneers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 99 would turn things around. Big shift in momentum here as he pounced on a fumble. The defense recovered. After driving two yards on three plays, number eight gets the call as they can't punch it into the end zone. But the short field goal is up and good. Connect on their second field goal. The Bucks answering right back. Bucks trailing by 20. Tom Brady is back to throw as they want to air it out here. And this one is right on target. They finally get on the board and they are now down by 13. The Bronx on defense. Number 27 was in the right place at the right time. As his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Bronx winning 27 to 14. Tom Brady would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 27-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers climb back again and are now down by six. The Bronx on D, number 31, is going to come up with a big play here. Whoop! The ball's loose. Scramble. He's there to grab it. The Bucs, after recovering a fumble, Bucks losing by six. Tom Brady was able to make things pay off on the ground. They take their first lead of the game and are now up by one. The Bronx on defense, number 27, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Bronx trailing 28 to 27.
number seven, got the carry as they pounded at him on the ground and he made the most of it. A six-yard touchdown for the Buccaneers. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bucks edge out a win, 35 to 27. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his depth passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Tom Brady is down on the field with Susie Calver. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really showed up today. And you nosed them out in this nail-biter game. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I was feeling pretty good today and things was just rolling for me. From the moment I stepped on the field, I felt like I could help us win this game. And that's what I had to do. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.